stop. Don't miss this. Tonight, there's a surprise in the works that's set to shake things up. And let me tell you, it's for you. Someone's plotting something special, and the anticipation is through the roof. What's brewing behind the scenes? Get ready because this surprise isn't just your run-of-the-mill affair. It's about to unfold in a way that'll leave you completely spellbound. This isn't just a video. It's a call that demands your immediate attention. The secrets unveiled here hold the power to elevate your life and your loved one. Do not deny yourself this chance. The choice is clear watch now and seize the opportunity before the profound truths slip through your fingers. Your destiny is calling and the time to answer is now. But before that, you've committed a grave mistake marked by the disapproval of the Lord. Pay close attention to this warning and divine suggestion before plunging into crucial matters. If you're watching this video today, your guardian angels have an important message for you. Take a moment to breathe and center yourself, for there is something special in the air tonight. Can you feel it? The universe is conspiring to bring you a surprise, something magical that will leave you in awe. Imagine this, as you go about your evening, unaware of what lies ahead, the cosmos is orchestrating a beautiful symphony of events designed just for you. Your guardian angels are working tirelessly behind the scenes, weaving threads of serendipity and synchronicity to create a moment that will light up your heart. Tonight is not just any night. It's a night where the ordinary transforms into the extraordinary, where the mundane is kissed by the extraordinary. Have you ever experienced a moment so enchanting that it felt like the universe itself was wrapping you in a warm embrace? Well, brace yourself, because tonight holds the promise of such a moment. Picture this, you're going about your evening routine, perhaps scrolling through your phone, reading a book, or enjoying a quiet moment of reflection. Little do you know that, as you navigate through the hours, a surprise is quietly making its way towards you. It could be a person, an event, or a realization, something that will catch you off guard and leave you smiling from ear to ear. Your guardian angels are like masterful event planners, and tonight's surprise is their piece de resistance. They've been observing, guiding, and nudging the elements of your life into perfect alignment for this very moment. As you watch this video, they are whispering in your ear, urging you to stay open, stay present, and be ready to receive the unexpected gift that's making its way to you. Have you ever noticed how life has a way of surprising us when we least expect it? It's as if the universe delights in catching us off guard, reminding us that there's always a touch of magic in the everyday. Tonight, that magic is knocking on your door. It could be a long-lost friend reaching out, a serendipitous encounter, or a stroke of good luck that leaves you marveling at the wonders of existence. Type 555 if you trust Jesus. As you continue to listen, let the anticipation build within you. Your angels want you to know that this surprise is not just a random occurrence, it's a manifestation of the love and support that surrounds you at all times. It's a reminder that you are not alone on this journey, that there are forces working on your behalf to bring joy and delight into your life. Perhaps you're wondering why you deserve such a surprise. The truth is, you are worthy of every good thing that comes your way. Your angels see the beauty within you, the resilience that carries you through challenges, and the kindness that you share with the world. Tonight's surprise is a testament to the goodness that resides within you. Now, let's talk about the nature of this surprise. It could be a variety of things, each as unique as the individual watching this video. It might be a message from a loved one you haven't heard from in a while, a spontaneous invitation to an event that fills your heart with joy, or a moment of profound clarity that lights up your path. Type 1111 to claim it. Your angels want you to know that the form of the surprise is not as important as the feeling it brings. It's about the warmth that spreads through your chest, the sparkle in your eyes, and the laughter that bubbles up from deep within. 
So, as you go about your evening, stay attuned to these feelings. Your surprise might come in a package, a phone call, or a serendipitous encounter, but what matters most is the joy it brings to your soul. Isn't it fascinating how the universe has its way of weaving stories that leave us breathless? Your life is a tapestry, and tonight's surprise is a golden thread woven with love and care. Your angels are like expert storytellers, crafting a narrative that unfolds in the most unexpected and beautiful ways. As you anticipate the surprise, take a moment to reflect on the journey that has led you to this point. Think about the challenges you've overcome, the lessons you've learned, and the growth you've experienced. Your angels are proud witnesses to your story, and tonight's surprise is a celebration of the amazing person you've become. Now, let's address any skepticism that may linger in the corners of your mind. You might be thinking, can life really be this magical? Can unexpected surprises really happen? Your angels want you to release any doubt and embrace the possibility that miracles are not reserved for fairy tales, they happen in the tapestry of everyday life. As you watch this video, your angels are wrapping you in a cocoon of positive energy, encouraging you to let go of skepticism and welcome the extraordinary. Miracles are not always grand events, sometimes, they are small, subtle gestures that carry profound meaning. Your surprise tonight is a testament to the magic that exists in the seemingly ordinary moments of life. Type 777 if you already believe. Now, let's talk about the energy surrounding this surprise. It's a blend of excitement, love, and positive vibrations that are cascading towards you. Can you feel it? Your angels want you to be in tune with this energy, to open your heart and soul to the delightful frequencies that are dancing in the cosmic symphony. As you go about your evening, carry with you the anticipation of good things to come. Imagine your angels cheering you on, creating a celestial fanfare that heralds the arrival of your surprise. The universe is on your side, and tonight is a testament to the benevolent forces that conspire to bring joy into your life. And now, a gentle reminder, be present in the moment. The surprise is not a destination, it's a journey that unfolds with each passing second. Your angels want you to savor every moment, to be fully present and engaged in the experience. So, put aside any distractions, be it your phone, worries, or to-do lists, and immerse yourself in the magic of the now. As you move through the evening, be attuned to the signs and synchronicities that may guide you towards your surprise. Your angels communicate through subtle whispers, nudges, and coincidences. It could be a song playing on the radio, a sudden change in the weather, or a serendipitous encounter that steers you towards the unfolding magic. Subscribe to our channel if you love God. The beauty of surprises lies in their ability to break through the routine of everyday life and infuse it with a sense of wonder. Your angels want you to embrace this wonder, to approach the unfolding surprise with the curiosity and excitement of a child. Let go of expectations, release control, and allow yourself to be swept away by the magic that awaits you. As the evening progresses, you might find yourself feeling a sense of heightened intuition. Your angels are guiding you, whispering in the quiet corners of your mind, leading you towards the surprise that awaits. Trust your instincts, follow the nudges, and let the journey unfold with grace. And now, let's talk about gratitude. Your angels want you to cultivate a spirit of gratitude as you await the surprise. Gratitude is like a magnet that attracts more blessings into your life. Take a moment to reflect on the blessings you've received so far, the people you cherish, and the moments that have brought you joy. Type 222 if you believe. Expressing gratitude opens the channels for more abundance to flow into your life. Your angels are urging you to create a gratitude list, acknowledging the beauty that 
surrounds you. As you do so, you'll find your heart expanding, creating a welcoming space for the surprise that is about to grace your evening. The anticipation is building, and the energy is shifting. Your angels are standing by, ready to witness the joy that will light up your face. Remember, you are a beloved child of the universe, and tonight is a celebration of the love that surrounds you. So, as you go about your evening, carry with you the knowledge that something extraordinary is on its way to you. As we approach the conclusion of this message, take a deep breath and exhale any remaining tension or doubt. Your angels are with you, guiding you towards a moment that will be etched in your heart forever. The surprise is not just a fleeting event, it's a reminder of the love, support, and magic that accompanies you on your journey. Type 333 if you trust angels. As you go forth into the evening, remember this, you are not alone, and the universe has a way of surprising us in the most unexpected and delightful ways. Trust, believe, and be open to the magic that awaits you. Your angels are by your side, and tonight is a celebration of the extraordinary journey that is your life. May the surprise bring you immense joy, may your heart overflow with gratitude, and may you continue to walk this path with a sense of wonder and awe. Blessings to you, dear one, and may the magic of tonight fill your soul with love and light. Show your support by giving super thanks up to $20. Type 444 to claim this message and the blessings inside for your own. An important message is waiting for you in the next video, where you'll hear it. My child, if I should ask you, are you walking in faith? Are you walking by sight? How would you answer that? Do you walk according my will, purpose and plan? Or are you just walking, trusting and hoping things will turn out? I want you to walk trusting me for every single thing, and that is, walk by faith. You either walk by faith or by sight. Sometime you've got to see it to believe it, and you have such moments in your life. Your decisions really matter. When you want to hear my voice, or receive some definite sign from me regarding a relationship, perhaps a pending marriage, a business decision, a career choice, or a major expenditure, you know your decisions really matter. You make decisions, your decisions turn around and make you, and you face so many questions throughout all of your lifetime. Like, how about should I get married? If the answer is yes, who should I marry? Should I go to college? I've got a good job, shall I take the new job? Should I just hold on to the one I have? Is there any way to be 100% certain about my will when you're making a major choice in life or a college? But remember, you walk by faith, not by sight. You walk by faith. And I want to say to you, you are not going to get 100% assurance and confidence before you make a choice, because it would require zero faith. You pray about it, you wait on me, and then you make our choice. You believe what you don't see. That's what faith is. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Once you see, then you don't need faith anymore. Faith means you have it in your heart before you have it in your circumstance. But it really can be just as good as having it if you really trust and believe me. You have to take the plunge. You have to make the choice. Go ahead and make the best decision you can make. And when you've done that, Leave the results to me, because my purpose will stand. And if yours are not, I will correct it. I will redeem it, and I will still keep you on the right path to your future destiny, and will not forsake you. I want you to know my will, more than you want to know it. One of the reasons that people live out of the divine will, is they're not willing to take the first step. I hear people tell this all the time. Well, God doesn't speak to me. Yes, I does. You may not be listening, but I do. I don't play favorites. I love you all, but sometimes I'll require of you something that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. If you're going to follow the Lord, 
You've got to be willing to listen to me. And you've got to be willing to trust me when you don't understand it. You may have some things you don't understand, you can't figure out. You don't see the answer. That's okay, you don't have to see it. This is a key to faith, trusting when you don't understand. Trusting when you don't have the answers. Trusting when it seems like just the opposite of what you were hoping for. Quit worrying about those things you can't figure out. I view you in the palm of my hand. You may not know how this is going to work out, but you do know who's on the throne. You do know who's directing your steps. You do know who's planned out your days. Before you were ever born, I've pondered plans I had for you before. There was even a single day to your existence, and I established your purpose before you were ever created in your mother's womb. They were actually recorded or written in my book. I have plans for you. I have some plans, plural ones. I know the plans I have for you. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and to give you a hope. So, I have great plans for you. I promise that my plans for your destiny are only good ones. No disasters are planned for you. I haven't written down on this occasion when they're 35, 40 years old. I'm going to get them. None of that. You are not God. That, no. My plans are only good, and they're only filled with grace and hope. You're not God. I am. It is really comforting to know. You know there is a God, and it isn't me. And that's why you must hanging on to me, and trust me. What happens is that you forget that I am in control of the life I gave you. You do want to make good choices, but you're a limited human being. You can't see the future, but I can. You've got scripture, you've got prayer, you've got wise people, and then you've got a peace in your heart. And at the end of the day, you have to trust me, and you have to believe regardless of what happens. You don't have to obsess, hyperventilate, or control everyone and everything around you. You don't have to worry about the minutia, the little miniature things of life. You can have confidence that your father is going to take care of everything. You know you can sleep well once you realize I'm in control of your life. You must know no human being energized by Satan, not even Satan himself, can stop my purpose for your life or mine. Even if you trust me and make a mistake, if you genuinely make a mistake, I have the most awesome ways of correcting that mistake. I know your heart. I know you're willing to do or what I requires of you. But the question is, are you listening? And secondly, are you trusting that whatever I say for you to do, that you're to do? Remember Abraham, he made some wrong choices, but I didn't stop blessing him. I didn't cast him aside. I knew that my finest children would make mistakes. They would sin against me. They would disobey me because living in the world in which you live in, that you make mistakes, the times of weakness, the times of failure, and I forgive, and I keep moving you. I can put you exactly where I want you to be. I can arrange all the details of your life years in advance. I can open doors that seem shut tight. I can remove any obstacle that stands in your way. I can take your choices and fit them into my plan so you end up at the right place at the right time. I can even take your mistakes and bring good out of them. Don't forget, I'm your redeemer. I redeems things. I can take tragedy, use it for your good and my glory. All I need is a willing heart, just someone to reasonably cooperate. This doesn't mean you won't have to make difficult and hard choices. You will, but it takes the pressure off because it means you can trust me to take your decisions, your choices, and use them to accomplish my will in your life. Here comes the message Father is talking about, and after that, a prayer and some divine wisdom to save yourself from any unforeseen event. My beloved child, today you radiate with joy and happiness and you are about to receive grace from kind-hearted souls who will share their own blessings with you. I urge you to proclaim to everyone who strengthens you and loves you deeply. Speak with confidence, and from your lips shall flow words of life and hope. 
You shall never stray far from me, never lose sight of this sign, that I have given you the forgiveness of your sins, made possible by my shed blood, which cleanses you and grants you eternal life. I shall delight in being your father, and you shall revel in the gifts and wonders bestowed upon you. By me your descendants shall be blessed and numerous, like the grains of sand by the sea. Know that I remain the same, the one who loved you and gazed upon you with mercy yesterday, who loves you more with each passing day. Your future rests in my hands, but I require your faith. I implore you not to ignore this message. Do not underestimate this medium through which I speak. I have chosen humble-hearted individuals to bring you my word and proclaim it to the world. These three beautiful and divine words, God is good. I was, am, and forever shall be your dearest love and kindness. I am good because I am also the author and creator of faith. With my hands, I signaled the creation of the universe, and with my wisdom, I established the boundaries of the stars, the galaxies, and all the elements necessary for your existence. Dot you were formed from dust, and one day your earthly body shall return to dust, while your spirit patiently awaits by my side for the appointed time. I shall transform your dust-made body into a holy, eternal, indestructible one. Everything in your life has a purpose. You are my greatest treasure and in my hands. I loved you when you were distant and I shall continue to love you despite any mistakes. I remain the same yesterday, today, and for all eternity, my mind does not waver. I personally sought you when you felt disappointed and sought an easy way out of your pain. I showed you that life and peace are not behind a false facade. You must persevere through the process, face suffering, and place your faith in my word. Walk without faltering, holding my hand so you may reach the long-desired freedom and triumph. Reclaim the conviction that you are a person of great worth. I witnessed your tears and wept alongside you as a true friend, so you would feel safe and choose to keep fighting. Because I fight alongside you, I assist you when you ask, and I fight for you when you are weary. My heavenly army stands guard around you when you feel exhausted dot at tea times. You do not even realize the countless things I have saved you from. I will open your eyes to the supernatural world so you can witness my warrior angels fighting fierce battles to protect you. I have saved you from deadly accidents, halted disease at your doorstep, confused the intentions of criminals and thieves, and rebuked the enemy of your soul when it sought to devour you. I reaffirm my love for you, remind you that no matter what happens, you are still under my shelter and love. But with affection, I also ask that you no longer be troubled or filled with fear when problems arise that you told me that you would trust me and not react to what people are saying. Know that I have surrounded you with my arms and no threats or lies from others can harm you. There are levels of faith, maturity, and wisdom, and you are at the highest, where I have placed you. Higher up where you are, disputes and provocations cannot touch you. They seek your reaction, aiming to steal your inner peace. They know that if they succeed, your thoughts will run wild, uncontrollable, and you may harm those in your path. Therefore, I urge you to accept my peace. It is merely a matter of faith, of taking time in silence. Wherever you are, speak my word in your thoughts or aloud. The power of my promises will break your chains, and I will remove from you the bad habit of getting nervous and worried about any lies you hear. Even if they were true, you should not lose your peace. When bad news comes, you shall face it with strength and your head held high. I have spoken to your soul 
and given you the assurance that I will always be with you. Those who attack you believe that no one is protecting you and that their words can harm you, but do not believe them. Do not allow their lies to occupy your mind and heart. I will give you the strength to overcome these enemies, and even if you make mistakes, I will always listen with affection to your repentant heart. Believe me in this as well. If you distance yourself from error and those harmful acquaintances, you will truly be happy and highly blessed. Of choice, whom do you want to believe? I have asked you this many times, and I know you are human. But now understand that I am God. You bring the faith, and I possess the power. You may be weak at times, and I wish to assist you always. I have safeguarded your family from dire situations and will continue to protect them. But I want you and your entire household to seek me, believe in my word, and receive the complete blessing of my holy promises. Speak to them, please, and let them know that I am aware of their lives and have a special plan that must be fulfilled. Tell them not to feel bad or become sad if they think they have lost something, a material possession, a friend, a job, or their plans that fell apart. Repeat these words to them. Everything happens for a reason. Our beloved God is in control. In the end, even things that seem negative will work in our favor. Seek me every day. Give thanks in all circumstances, both good and bad, and believe me when I say this, marvelous miracles will happen when your hearts are filled with praise. Deliver my message to them. Tell them not to worry, that everything will be fine. A time of great blessings is coming for your family, and you dot, you have kept the faith, and you stand strong. I am ready to bless you. You are well prepared to receive all that I have prepared for you. I also want your troubled times to be left behind and for you to cast aside the feeling of being a failure. Let me declare something to you. None of my sons and daughters is a failure, and you will never be one. I love you, I care for you, I prepare you, and I correct you. If you fall, you rise, if you make mistakes, you confess, and I forgive you with patience and love. You stand up, shake off the dust, and continue with your faith in my word, and your eyes fixed on the goal. My daughters and sons make mistakes, but they persist the humility and ability to acknowledge their faults, receive my forgiveness, and leave behind all feelings of defeat and guilt. You have never been a failure. The enemy knows how you feel and has taken advantage to steal from you and to harm you. But everything that was stolen from you shall return. I want you to become accustomed to living a life of emotional freedom. Stop blaming yourself for past events and do not punish yourself by denying the opportunity to succeed. I want you to keep growing in your faith and learn to depend more on me. I will instruct you to do things that may seem impossible to you. Understand, my child, that I have chosen you to be a channel of blessing to all those you love. Step into the abundant embrace of my presence that surrounds you like a warm, comforting blanket. Begin with the melody of praise, allowing it to rise until it becomes a symphony of worship. In the cadence of your worship, the glory will unfurl. Stand, dear one. Stand in the glorious light that emanates from my heart. Know this, my cherished one, my plans for you are unwavering, and I have not altered the course set for your life. Picture me standing and waiting, ready to pour out blessings that match the depth of your praise and the fervor of your worship. You're about to witness what others have only dreamed of seeing. The high places of my presence are to be your dwelling, not just a fleeting visitation. Do not settle for occasional glimpses. Embrace the glorious dwelling I have prepared for you.
Shake off any hesitation, sweet child. Take control of your emotions, focus your thoughts, and let every fiber of your being magnify, praise, and worship. In this abandoned heart, you will witness the extraordinary unfold. You are the one chosen and dearly loved. I appoint you as the apple of my eye, drawing you close into my unyielding protection, lavish provision, and divine purpose like never before. Hear me, for today is a new dawn, and a fresh pathway has unveiled itself before you. Embrace it with anticipation, knowing that this new way has found you. Rejoice, for I am with you every step, and your journey is marked by promises fulfilled and assurances that stand unshakable. You are cherished, guided, and destined for greatness. Trust in this, for I choose you, and in my choosing, you find immeasurable joy and boundless purpose. However, I want you to be cautious about what enters your ears and what your eyes see. I want my word to take precedence. Nourish yourself in it. Immerse yourself in my Holy Spirit, whether by reading, listening, speaking, writing, or singing. Whatever I inspire you to do, do it in spirit and in truth. Learn to manage it. I will bestow great blessings upon you, but you must care for them. I will not lift you up so you feel overly important and become conceited. The authority I will grant you, if you want my blessings to multiply, must be used with humility. Do not allow gossip or slander against anyone Never raise your hand or soil your tongue to harm those who esteem, help or provide you with employment through which you earn your bread. Put your effort into working, serving and being a blessing to those around you, your family and to others. I have chosen you to bear fruit, to go where I send you, to let prosperity and blessing flow in your household. I have come to speak to you as a friend. If you want to see a change in your life, you must decide to obey me and walk with me. Tell me that you will. You are entering a new stage, and if you want, you will succeed. I have chosen you to be a warrior, to bring your family forward, to lead you from victory to victory, to for my presence to accompany you in all your triumphs, from glory to glory through your praise. My dear child, I love you, champion of champions. I will bless you. I did not make a mistake when I chose you. I know what I'm doing because I want you to understand how much I love you. Together with my servants, you shall return to this earth to confront the armies of darkness. Prepare yourself, for one day you shall reign alongside me. But until that day comes, never cease to pray. Seek me relentlessly. I desire your commitment to fulfill my will. Tell me now, in your own words, that you will always love me. Amen. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video and let's keep the universal's wisdom flowing.